This is just another beat made in my bedroom at my house in Virginia, just making beats to make beats and get it out. My working relationship with Juice has been the same ever since the beginning. You can like feel the emotion in his voice. He's just letting everybody know like what he's facing and all the stuff that he has going on. And not afraid to show you who he really is. From the unknown, I When I sent the beat, I was like, I had all these other beats in there. I was like, he's about to make a hit to all these other ones and just pick the one I least expected. And yeah, now it's the intro to the album. And it just starts off in the right tone for the rest of the album. And it has so much energy. He's just coming in like, this is what the album's about to be like. And like, all that. Juice hit me up for a pack and I was just making whatever at the time. You know, I had no set direction for what I wanted to do. I got on live, I'm pretty sure, probably YouTube or Twitch or something. I was live streaming me making beats, you know, I just made this on, on site from scratch. And this beat, I started off with these three chords that um, looped throughout the whole song. It's just like a regular grand piano, the basic, the basic. But after I had those main chords laid down, I uh, went and grabbed a Rhodes keyboard from Keyscape and I just layered the chords on the bottom so there was more uh, feel to it and it was more spacious. I don't like my beats very monotone and like very centered so I put the Rhodes in and there's a lot of reverb on it and it's very spacious so you can, you know, you feel it more. When it's just right in the middle, you're not really getting the same vibe. I actually had three other different melodies that I layered on top of it. First off, in this Electra X ARP from my boy uh, Roy Major. He's on Internet Money Collective. And um, it's from the Pluto Bank right here, the ARP Unknown. It just had this very moving feel and it just brought something different. Like it, it stood out so much. So after that, I went in Electra X again, took the chords again from the uh, the Rhodes and the Keyscape piano and uh, I just played them out on this art. last sound for the melody wise is this contact uh, vocal. That sound is definitely tucked way in the back and you'll never notice it. And then comes out for the verse because the verse is just the piano and the roads, you know, switching back and forth. You barely even notice that it's not there. So after we have all the melodies combined, I started adding in drums. Usually I like to start with just adding a, a two-step hi-hat pattern. And then I, I, you know, fill in the blanks from there. I added in this um, clap. And then usually after my hats and claps, I go in and I either add the 808 or the kick first. This is the kick pattern right here. This is what the 808 sounds like. I notice a lot of producers nowadays do not have their 808s in tune with um, their melodies, and that's a big no-no from everybody. It just sounds so off. It'll be one note off, but it's so low that producers can't hear it. But um, if you just bring them an octave up, you can listen to the actual tone of the note. Producers, tune your 808s, please. So after I had the kick 808 hi-hat clap, I just added in um, a simple o uh, open hat right here. And that just hits on the downbeats of the one and five. It's sort of like a boom, doom, ksh, doom, doom, psh, back to, you know, impeach the president drum vibes. Ladies and gentlemen. I think everybody does that nowadays with their hats hitting before the, the snares and all that.
So after I had all those components and I was laying the beat out, I thought I needed a transition for the um, the melodies. I don't know what it is, but um, my boy Trail uh, had it in his, his pack. And I was like, that sounds like, it just sounds like a spaceship or something like a Star Wars sound or I don't know, an explosion, who knows. When it came in on the, um, the hook and with all the instruments, you definitely have that like, feel like it just crashes and then he comes in, I feel so empty and it's fire. Ain't no right way, just the wrong way, I know. I problem solve with styrofoam. Oh, empty, I feel so goddamn empty. I may go wrong. Don't tip me, big bullet hole. Don't tip me, I don't When I was younger, I had this uh, Walmart guitar I bought. I just looked up songs on YouTube to play and like learn the melodies of like Iron Man by Black Sabbath. I'm pretty sure that's everybody's first song they learn when they get a guitar, um, Smoke on the Water, just stuff like that. And now when I make beats, it's like subconsciously what I'm making, like they're melancholic and and dark, but obviously we, we proved otherwise on the album too. I went on my Instagram, I posted the, uh, the album at midnight. I said, what's your favorite song? You know, a week later, what's your favorite song? People, empty, 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 feeling empty, empty, flaws and sins, empty, robbery. I was just like, I just saw it empty everywhere. I was just like, really did it.